Andrew, to some other news now, and we know that the government's majority is not a big one, so they're always looking at where they might be able to pick up a seat or two at the next election. You've got some news on one high-profile seat. Yeah, Scott Morris and his team always have an eye on who will be the best possible candidates to help them increase his slender majority at the next federal election. Certainly the case for the seat of Warringah, where the Liberals hope to defeat independent Zali Stegall. Recently, the PM invited former Premier Mike Baird and his family over to Kirribilli House, with several Liberals looking to urge Baird to run. Uh, both Baird and the PM's office saying this is more a personal outing, though, with the PM keen to thank Baird's elderly parents for help they gave him and his wife when he entered the Parliament and succeeded Bruce Baird and Cook. Baird, in an interview with me in January, ruled Moringa out this time round. People have spoken about you in federal politics, about taking on Zali Stegall in Warringah. Could that happen at the next election? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty quick one. No chance? No chance. Has Scott Morrison ever spoken to you about it? No. No. You're just not interested? Never, ever? No, well, I'm not, I, of course I'm gonna, never going to say never, never, ever. I mean, look at Joe Biden. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I am, I am not running. Now, another name being spoken about in terms of Warringah is the New South Wales Environment Minister, Matt Keane. Apparently, Keane, who, like Stegall, advocates for action on climate change, would be willing to go for the seat if Morrison prevailed on him and Baird did not wish to run. Several Liberals have urged Keane to run. Keane himself has been working on colleagues to attempt to lobby Baird into the race.